This is why you don't pay off your mortgage. Let's say it took you 15 years to pay off your mortgage. You have, your house is worth a million dollars. You have a million dollars sitting in the house, but that money is not doing anything for you. It's not creating any cash flow. It's not doing anything. So God forbid you lose your job or you want to retire. How are you going to pay off your bills? How are you going to pay off your food, your uh, transportation? Money that I don't, it don't, I don't money. It gets bored. It's kind of like a girlfriend, which explains why have they have all left? They got bored with me. Makes sense. Okay, but imagine that instead of you making those extra payments to the mortgage company, you put the money away. You put that five hundred dollars, a thousand dollars, fifteen hundred dollars aside, and you build this down payment for the next home, and you do that every couple of years. But by the time you would have been done paying your mortgage, you would own 10, 15 houses that will be producing some cash flow for you where you can start living the life that you have always decided. You can retire, have the other properties pay off your mortgage on your house instead of just having the money sitting on the property. And let's be honest, if you're gonna say, oh, I wanna be debt free because I wanna pay off my, co my house and I don't have to worry about, well, listen, if you don't pay off the taxes in your house, the government is gonna come in and put a lien on your home because even though you own it, the government still wants its money, its taxes. And if you don't have that cash to pay off the taxes, you are broke, you are literally broke. Listen, if you wanna learn about investing in real estate, buying your first home, buying your second home, the third, fifth, I would love to sit down with you. Give me a call or shoot me a text and let's work. Be great.